what's up guys welcome to another deadbeat drum video today we're going to continue on with double bass drumming exercise number eight as always as i mentioned before the key here is to stay relaxed as possible remember to breathe try not to tense up remember to adjust your throne accordingly we don't want to be sitting too low or too high we don't want to be sitting too close to our pedals to where our knees are over our ankles and you also don't want to be sitting too far away to the point where you're having to like lean forward in order to reach you know the rest of your kit I like it to where I'm at a 45 degree obtuse angle and like always we're gonna start off things slowly so we're gonna start off at 60 BPMs and then we're gonna move up to 70 BPM and then we're gonna end at a nice 80 BPM but before we get started with today's exercise please do me a favor please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on my next deadbeat drum video. And if you have any questions about today's exercise, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let's get to it. Just like you, I am also working on my double bass technique and just making sure I'm on top of things and of course always pushing myself in small increments. We don't want to hurt ourselves. So that's why the key here is to start things off very slowly and then work our way up. We want to develop our muscles, we want to work on that muscle memory. And in strengthening the muscle memory, that's going to allow us to have better control. Start off slow and slowly work your way up. And be consistent with your practice. You're not going to become a speed demon overnight. So just remember to put in the time, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, but be consistent. Things like this, which involve speed, take patience and time. So go easy on yourself, but never forget to always have fun in the process though. If you guys enjoyed today's exercise, please do me a favor. I'll see you in the next video.